I don't know what's happening. I'm just trying to kill her before she kills me. Too late. <laughs> That's that sucks. <laughs> I am gonna have to work a good amount back. I don't get why they these two bonfires are so close to uh are are so close to each other and then they could go so long without me getting one. So there's a little gremlin here. I was trying to lock onto this guy, but and then there's one up there. And the first big lady respawned. I wonder if I can run past her without aggroing her. Looks like it. Okay, so I came in here, that body came to life, this one comes to life. There's a red-eye guy and an ambusher. There's allegedly a second ambusher up above, but he never dropped down for me. Oh, there he is. Alright. These are both alive. Just trying to take cover in here, my guy. You just happened to uh, line up perfectly. All right, get under here. Deal with the hammer guy, and then I got to figure out how to deal with the the big lady. Oh, she just dropped down. Not what I was expecting her to do. She just slapped me with her book. D I basically just need to wait for her to try and hug me. Because whenever she tries to hug me, oh, that's not a hug. That is a not hug. Lady's mean. There we go. <laughs> okay. Let's retrieve my souls and then I'm back where I was. 
with only one S that's flashed in my name. Okay. Yeah, that lady's mean. And she's got a big weapon with a lot of damage. And she just kind of can... Can swing it around willy-nilly. Alright, so I do see an item down there. I do see a crystal lizard down there as well. But I want to actually get down there properly before I, like, start dropping into unknown territory. we find a bonfire soon. This looks like a trap. I'm guessing that that sparkling sound that I'm hearing is the crystal lizard outside. All right. Sharp gem. I mean, I do see a bonfire, so I'm gonna, you know, take that. Absolutely gonna take that. I'm happy they gave me one. All right, so I do, I do have this big guy over here to contend with. Oh, that's just a big old saw. Oh, does the. Is the, the, the door on his back protecting him from backstabs? Is that what the deal is? Okay, bye bye. Alright, so I believe I just gotta make this jump. Rusted coin. What does that do? Crush to temporarily boost item discovery. Oh, interesting. So if there's like an enemy that I need to <gasps> kill over and over again trying to get an item that can boost the rate at which I get, get drops. Okay. Um. So there are still two... Well, I got three pads to check now. First of all, this one looks like it's probably going to be locked. Correct. Okay. I have two pads. I can either continue down this way, or I can go back up to the main square and see where that led to, because that might end up just being a dead end, and I can check that off. And since I've already cleared a bunch of the enemies here, if I don't rest at the bonfire, I can more easily just go back and check that. So maybe I'll go do that. The soup back? <gasps> the soup is back. How nice. Alright, so I want to see what's over across that bridge over there. But what's this? Oh, this is how... Oh, this is where the guy that was trying to ambush me was. He dropped down there. Okay. Now let's see what's across this bridge. Enemies, that's what's across the bridge. Ah, okay.
Guy's got quite an arm on him. Okay. Looks like I can go around the outside here. Oh, that leads to quite a ways. Let's see, okay, let's see what's in the building. Hello. Large soul. Oh, ambush. Easy enough. Be wary of enemy. Up. Oh. This guy? Oh, he's got a sword that's way too big for him. <laughs> he's trying his best. Ah! He's he's doing better than you'd think. Uh, can I have that? Can I have that? I want a big sword. I want to be cloud. It looks like there was a a mark over there. How did you how did that guy even do that? How do you even get over there? Why does every door that I come across have to be so heavy to open? Every one, he like is struggling and pushing to get it open. That looks like a lot over there. Caduceus? And then there's somebody throwing stuff at me. Oh, it's a little gremlin dude up there. Okay, okay, okay. First off... I want to go around the outside of this building. Well, there's a little gremlin right there. Can you stop throwing shit at me? Please? They're all over the place. They're, they're, this, this area is crawling with them, literally. Ah. That's my last S, this flask. Guys are really annoying. Okay, there's nothing here. I just have <laughs> I just have a throwing knife sticking out of my head. Ah, oh, it just faded. Alright, so there's two of them on the roofs. One up here. And one over here. I can just run up to this guy. All right, well, we're, we're both whiffing. Let's go get this guy then. All right, I just slashed him through the roof. That's all right. More homeward bones. Big guy over there. God, there's so much, ha there's so much here. There should be one more as well, the guy that I was whiffing at. No! Okay, I didn't go off, he did. Okay, that's how the guy got onto that one, uh... That one area. I don't know if that little gremlin that fell off here is dead or not. He is not. Okay. A little resilient little fella, ain't he? So I don't want to drop there because I've already seen that. What's over here? A plank shield. How nice. Oh, this is a living thing. Enemy ahead. Oh, it is fighting back, but this one has a lot more health than the other one.
He was just chilling, enjoying the uh, the scenery. And then here I come along, poking him with the sword. Maybe I'm the villain. Okay, that's just a corpse. Uh, do, 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 do. That was a dead end down there. It looked like there might have been something over this way. Yes. Ah, yes. I, I totally want to fight this guy with the amount of health I have. I, I can't even uh, backstab him. He's angry. <laughs> Brutal. I kind of knew it was going to happen. All right. Uh, we're going to rest here. We're going to warp, I think, is going to be easier. Stunning, unusually long katana called the washing pole. All right. The dodging into that guy stuns him. Is that that is the archer that I'm hearing? Is he gonna shoot again? He's firing in the sky for some reason. God, he's so skittery. You know what? I'm just gonna run. If I don't need to fight you guys, I'm not going to. If you guys want to chase me down and try and kill me, that's your prerogative. I'm already gonna have to deal with enough of you guys over here. I want to go up this way. There's this guy just chilling out right here. Did he just fall on me and that damaged me? I need to go up this ladder. And then down here. This is where I died. All right, time for a rematch. Examine. I did see an option. Oh. I'm so, I'm so lost. So I just got in the in that guy's cage, willingly. Uh, I got thrown into a pit, and now there's a big altar in a big open arena. 
Uh, and there's just a dude hanging out at the far side of it. Okay. How's it going, buddy? I'm just gonna grab this item real quick before uh, talking to you. War God Wooden Shield. Pray at Sacrificial Altar. Oh, that has a lot of bones. Okay. What do you say? Praise the bonfire. Revenge? Well, what's up? This pit is for hollows, not for the likes of you, same folk. Or perhaps you are a hollow, posing as otherwise? Hmm? Uh, no. <laughs> no, no, of course you're not. That's what you mad fools always say. But we'll all be mad soon enough. And should you be undead, well, all the more so. Beware, the shackles of the gods are fragile. You might need this. Etch it on your heart if you feel your sanity slipping. M mound makers? Oh, it's Don't another covenant. Pile up your victims, for that will form your anchor. Okay. You'll see when you go mad. They'll be your family. <laughs> it is a badass name for a covenant, though. The the mound makers. Mad. Take my advice. This pit is for hollows, and for the occasional madman fond of piling up victims. You've better things to do. <laughs> this pit is for you. <laughs> uh, pray at sacrificial altar. Offer vertebra shackle? Do I have a vertebra shackle? Is that my covenant that I have? I don't know what a vertebra shackle is. I've I have more questions than answers. Ah, uh, monster victory. I see blood pools. Huh, it's a woman. Let me out of here. All right, I guess let's see what happens if I try and offer the vertebra shackle. No vertebra shackle in inventory. Okay, so I have to come back here when I have a vertebra shackle and maybe it'll unlock a boss fight. Okay. I didn't even see where I got thrown into this pit. But all right, he gave me a homeward bone, so I guess I'll use it. Well, we discovered something. I don't know how rare it is for people to discover that. But if that is a boss fight, I would have discovered it at some point eventually, because like I said, the goal is all the boss fights. Oh, I got their hat. Hey there, I hope you're enjoying the videos of the Dark Souls 3 adventure with me and my best friend. I'd love to hear what you all think, so please leave a like or a comment and consider subscribing to follow my journey to beat as many games as I can. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next one.